Nothing's more fun than playing video games to unwind after school or work, right? But what if your real job was playing video games? Sounds impossible, huh? Well, it's not. Pick up your controller. The ultimate fantasy is about to become a reality. This is Epic How To. Epic How To. Every single video game goes through a slew of testing to iron out the bugs and flaws in preparation of its final release. This is the job of the quality assurance tester. QA testers play the same level over and over and over for hours to make sure it's bug free. If you think you got the skills, you could become a professional gamer. Professional gamers make big money competing in tournaments around the globe, not to mention the glory of saying that you're the best in the world at mashing buttons. I don't mash buttons, I'm a gamer. But the life of a pro gamer requires a life dedicated to constant training and traveling to tournaments. And the only way you're gonna get paid is if you win. But all is not lost if you wanna make money playing video games. According to Hotshot GG, a former pro gamer, there is a better way. He says the best way to make money is to be an entertainer and to be a streamer, just being a personality that everyone looks up to. Enter the world of streaming games. Streamers are people who record themselves playing video games and then broadcast it over the internet. The most popular streaming website is Twitch. Recently acquired by Amazon for $970 million, Twitch is the fourth largest source of internet traffic in the United States, after porn, porn, and more porn. Streamers make money through Twitch's partnership program. The program pays streamers approximately $3 for every thousand ad views and $5 a month for every subscriber. Combined with sponsorships, Amazon referral links, and PayPal donations, you can make some serious cash. Now how much money are we talking about? Well, one League of Legends streamer earns around eight grand a month and he doesn't even have to leave his house. Lucky. But that's just a drop in the bucket compared to streamer PewDiePie. With over 32 million subscribers, PewDiePie earns an average of $400,000 a month. Yelp, he's a multi-millionaire. Ha! Now it's actually pretty simple to set this all up. If you're looking to stream your Xbox One or PS4, all the tools you need are built into the console. The only additional piece of equipment you need is a Kinect camera or PlayStation Eye camera. For PC, you're gonna need streaming software to let you send your games to Twitch. You're also gonna need a microphone and a webcam. Now your computer might come with both of those pre-installed, but if you're serious about streaming, which you should be, consider purchasing a dedicated webcam and microphone. We recommend you find something around the $30 to $40 range that can record 720p video and a cardioid microphone in the $100 to $130 range. Whether you're streaming on PC, Xbox One, or PS4, make sure you have a fast, stable internet connection. You don't want your internet kicking the bucket when you're in the middle of a stream, like a noob. We still say noob? Yeah! We still say noob. Oh, look at that. You're all set up and ready to stream, but what game are you gonna play? Contrary to what you might think, you should avoid popular titles like League of Legends, StarCraft II, Minecraft, and Modern Warfare 3. Those games are ridiculously popular, but with so many established streamers playing them all the time, your stream's gonna get lost in the crowd. Pick a popular older title that less than 50 or so other streamers are playing at the time. Games like maybe mm, Kingdom Hearts, Resident Evil 4, or Super Mario Sunshine might be a good place to start. I know some of you out there probably disagree vehemently, but this is my video. Not every successful streamer is alike, but they do share similar qualities. Quality number one, a good voice. If you want people to watch your stream for hours on end, you have to be pleasant to listen to. Imagine you're talking to a friend and make sure to speak clearly and with emotion. Quality number two, a strong personality. You don't have to be great at the game, but you do have to be engaging and entertaining to watch. React big when something scary or silly happens, crack jokes and goof around with the chat. Quality number three, they stick to a schedule. Stream every day at the same time. The more regular and consistent you are, the more your followers will remember to tune in. Quality number four, interact with your chat. Engaging with your audience will make them happy and keep them coming back to your stream. It makes them feel like they're part of the party. You can't just stream and expect the money to roll in. You'll have to constantly grow your audience and the only way to do that is to treat your stream like a business. Yes, even playing video games for a living requires a little bit of elbow grease. Do your research and know the other people streaming the game that you're playing. When an established streamer stops playing your game, a portion of their audience will want to keep watching that game and might switch to your channel. Network with other streamers. Find people who are about as popular as you. Exchange tips and tricks and plug each other's streams. Also promote your stream on social media. Run giveaways. People love getting free stuff. 
Consider getting a sponsor. That's a company that's going to pay you money to plug and promote their products. The best way to do this is to contact companies and explain who you are and how many subscribers you have. It's a numbers game. Congratulations! If you've carefully followed these steps, you're on your way to trading in that suit and tie for a webcam and gaming mouse. But you're gonna have to keep it up for the next 40 years because there's no 401k or health insurance for video game streamers. And quite frankly, this could all go away if people just decided to go outside one day. And we're praying that day never comes. Hey, thanks for watching. This has been Epic How To. Let us know what topic you guys think we should break down next in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe.